second reason people don't, and that's because they adopt a worldview that is contrary to Christianity. <coughs> people go to college and they hear a professor who uh, repudiates Christianity and they think that person is great and they adopt that truth. Or they can read something and it influences them to adopt a worldview that it simply undermines their openness to Jesus. I heard D.A. Carson uh, talking about a man by the name of Aldous Huxley. Huxley was an English writer. He lived from 1894 to 1963. In fact, Huxley died November 22, 1963, two hours after President Kennedy was shot. Okay? So, he is best known as an author of a book that sometimes I think probably high school or college students read called Brave New World. He edited the Oxford uh, uh, Poetry, published short stories. He adopted the philosophy of meaninglessness because Christianity interfered with his desire for sexual freedom. He chose a worldview that was contrary to Christ. I Google searched this week. You all know what I'm talking about, right? On the computer. This question, why do people doubt Christianity? One blog that I read, a person wrote this, I am an atheist. I actually think there was a man called Jesus because the Bible is so bent towards him being the Messiah. Sometimes it bends the story to make it fit. Other times it just plain lies as he doesn't really fit any of the prophecy. They just crush him into them so they, will, so they crush him into his mold. So why bother if there really isn't a Jesus? Now our world today is influenced a lot by articulate atheists that are writing top selling books. New York Times bestsellers. And people are adopting worldviews that are contrary to Christianity. And so you have a lot of people that doubt. I'm going to give you a third reason. Many small decisions. What do I mean by that? Well, doubt for some people does not come all at once. It comes slowly. It comes gradually, and it's often the result of a thousand little decisions, not one big major decision. For example, a person can be a professing Christian, but then things get really stressful at work. And I mean, they're trying to, to climb that corporate ladder, and they're going to run over people, and they're going to do whatever they can to succeed. But in the process, they make these small decisions like, yeah, I don't need to go to church anymore. I don't need to read my Bible anymore. I don't need to pray anymore. And five years later, they wake up. No wife, no kids, their family's a mess. And now they're shaking their fist at God saying, I don't believe this rubbish anymore. You see? Just small little decisions over time can lead people to doubt and eventually not caring anymore. 